In the Iraqi desert or wherever he was, Nick Exaros had a presence. Everyone was his best friend, and that was his personality. He could make everyone feel important. This born Marine was the first child of police was lieutenant Steve Exaros and, uh, and his wife Lisa. And we were so proud, proud that he wanted to do that and serve our country, and especially to be a Marine. But Exaros was also a son of Yarmouth, Massachusetts, his grieving Cape Cod hometown. Last July, the 21-year-old Marine corporal was killed in Afghanistan. This is the coin that President Obama gave me. The pain of Nick's death even reached President Obama. As he weighs whether to risk more American lives in Afghanistan, Nick has become the president's face of sacrifice. Also the cost of freedom. We first met Nick Exaros back in January as part of another story. At that point I was thinking, you know, this is it. That story was about this suicide truck bomb attack in Iraq. In the explosion, two Marine guards died, saving dozens of their buddies, including Exaros. He was humbled by their heroics. To be able to save all of us, in the turn sacrificing themselves, that's what makes the difference. In February, President Obama saluted that bravery. These two Marines stood their ground. Exaros was there, met his commander in chief, and switched units for the chance to fight again. I remember when he first called me and said, I'm going, I'm going to go to Afghanistan. I'm just like, oh, no. Three months later, Exaros came home for the final time. He had been killed by a roadside bomb. It just brings home what's going on all over the world. It makes your heart very heavy. I'm the proudest, but also the saddest man in the world. The kid from Cape Cod had died answering his country's call to service. When President Obama learned a young Marine he had met had been killed, he asked to meet Nick's family. It was instant uh, connection. And uh, he said whenever he makes decisions, he thinks about brave men and women like Nicholas. We want freedom and success and protect our country and, and help others. That's what we do. That's we're Americans. And, but the cost is huge. A cost paid by this outgoing young Marine. Our flag A cost the president promises to remember. Mark Strassman, CBS News, Yarmouth, Massachusetts.